Gentlemen, we might all have one or a few fragrances in our fragrance collections that we find to be our favorites. In this video, I'm going to mention seven fragrances in my collection that I find to be incredible and amazing. Some of these might not be appealing to everyone. Some of these might not have a perfect 10 out of 10 minutes improvement rating, but I still find them to be some of my personal favorites that I just can't get enough of. Let's start with the first one. The very first First fragrance is a discontinued fragrance that is loved in the fragrance community and that is Thierry Mugler Amen Pure Heaven. Pure Heaven is a sweet tobacco honey fragrance that is very dense, thick and slightly rubbery in a way but has still a very sweet candy-like quality to it with the very spicy yet very elegant tobacco in it. This is one of my most favorite designer fragrances ever created and I've also given Thierry Mugler Aim and Pure Heaven a 10 out of 10 rating in the video where I mentioned 10 10 out of 10 fragrances that you can check out up here in the corner. I can't get enough of this fragrance and the whole line of the fragrances is very sought after and very expensive on the gray market. The scent DNA here is stunning and very addictive. I love this fragrance and I want to keep it in my collection for as long as humanly possible. Let's move on to the next one. This next fragrance is a fragrance that lacks in performance for a lot of people and that some find to be very overpriced and that is Tom Ford Lost cherry. I am a sucker for cherry fragrances and this is right up my alley. And for a change of heart, this fragrance lasts very very well on my skin. My skin is very bad in terms of projection and longevity for fragrances. So in order for a fragrance that is known for having lackluster performance and having great performance on my skin, I was very pleasantly surprised. This is a jammy, thick, dense cherry fragrance with a very creamy and gourmand quality to it. It lasts 10 to 12 hours on my skin, has very good projection for a good amount of hours, but it is very expensive, hence not getting a 10 out of 10 minutes improvement rating. I have rated this a 9 out of 10, which I think is a very solid rating for the type of fragrance that it is. If it was cheaper and less than 12 plus hours, I would have given this a perfect 10 because I am in love with this fragrance. I can't get enough of it and I can't wait to buy an even bigger bottle whenever this 30 ml runs out. From one cherry fragrance to another, here is Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Eau de Parfum. This fragrance, I would say, is the fragrance that got me into perfumery. This fragrance is stunning, in my opinion. This is a cherry almond leather fragrance with a very, very thick, dense gourmand feel. This is not as jammy as Lost Cherry, but it's airy, uplifting, very impressionate and very challenging for a lot of people. This fragrance is going to be embedded into my collection forever and whenever this ball runs out I'm going to buy a bigger 100 or 150 ml bottle because this fragrance is a masterpiece in my opinion. I've rated this a 10 out of 10 in my review I made around one or two years ago. If you want to know more about this fragrance I will highly recommend you watch my review. This is a stunning cherry fragrance. Number four is a fragrance that a lot of people consider as a masterpiece and one of the brand's very best fragrances. I'm referring to Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. Edition Blanche is, in my opinion, the best Allure Homme fragrance, and I think it's one of Chanel's very best fragrances they have ever created. Even though I have rated this an 8.1 out of 10, I still think it is a masterpiece. The only reasons I haven't given it a 10 out of 10 is because it is very expensive for what you're getting, especially on my skin where I only get around 6 to 8 hours of performance and only good projection for half an hour or so but I still think it's very unique it smells like a lemon pie it's a very dense gourmand citrusy fragrance which is very unique and not very common to stumble upon I think Allure Homme Edition Blanche is one of the very best summer fragrances ever created and I think it's one of Chanel's very best to work so if you want to try a creamy 
citrusy fragrance for the summer. Try out this one. Number five is my most favorite fragrance ever created and that is Tom Ford Tobacco Oud. I've also mentioned this in the video of 10, 10 out of 10 fragrances that you can still watch up in the corner. I think that this is the most complete, perfect masterpiece fragrance ever created for men. This is Oud whiskey and tobacco blended into perfection in my opinion for what you are paying for you are getting perfection this lasts 12 plus hours on my skin has monster projection on my skin which i told you before is very rare for my skin to give off it's simply so out there but still very elegant masculine and assertive i can't get enough of this fragrance and i'm going to repurchase this no matter what what if i dropped this bottle right now i would order a new bottle right now i would pause the recording of this video to go to tom ford's website and order this right away this is my most favorite fragrance ever created number six is a fragrance i've rated a 7.3 out of 10 i can't get enough of this scent dna it is relaxing it is comforting it is so luxurious but the performance and projection is very lackluster but i really love the scent dna i'm referring to Maison margella matcha meditation i've given the 7.3 out of 10 rating and i've also mentioned this in my recent video of seven tips for better sleep i mentioned this being a nice fragrance to possibly wear before going to bed because this is so relaxing so comfortable to wear this is a white chocolate matcha scent which has a very gourmand powdery yet sweet touch to it this smells so luxurious and edible the white chocolate accord with the matcha accord here go very well hand in hand and i find this to be so amazing i would have wanted it to be so much stronger but i would love to know your opinions and experiences of it down in the comment section the last fragrance is so close to perfection and that is Aaron Terrence Hughes Forbidden. Forbidden has gotten a 9.9 .9 men's improvement rating. This is a cherry bakewell chocolate oud fragrance. This is so beautiful. This is beautiful perfumery done to perfection. This is dark, mysterious, sexy, yet so comfortable, relaxing, and sweet. This smells of cherries baked into a chocolate brownie. There's a slight hint of clean, strong, smooth oud in the base. This is so beautiful and it's personally one of my favorite gourmand fragrances ever made can't wait to try even more of his fragrances Aaron Terrence Hughes Forbidden is amazing I can't get enough of this and if the cherry accord was even more prominent it would have gotten a 10 out of 10 no doubt but a 9.9 .9 out of 10 is still unbelievably amazing gentlemen did you enjoy this video what are your personally favorite fragrances in your collection or that you have tried i would love to know what fragrances you enjoyed down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video i would love for you to smash the like button and subscribe to the men's improvement youtube channel for more videos about fragrances grooming style fashion skincare anything that will make you the best possible versions of yourselves and the last thing that i want to ask you is to smile more because it's free and to check out my video of 10 10 out of 10 fragrances. I think you'll enjoy that video a lot because I mentioned some of the best masterpiece fragrances in that video.